are afraid of having to pay for everything yeah. when, uh, as immigrants come into this country. People who come in, uh, the people who work at the diner in Alabama are afraid to try to ask for what is reasonable. So do you have a plan <laughs> to work with people in uh, Congress that are afraid? And I think that's what's going on with many of the conservatives, especially when it comes to climate change. People are just afraid of what will happen if we try to make these big changes. Mm -hmm. To this day, I've never heard a person person actually like level with me and be like, listen, my main donors are fossil fuel people and I just can't. <laughs> no, but even in like the candor of an honest conversation, no one's no one has said that to me. No one has ever said to me, listen, you know, I've got these really big donors, and to be really honest with you, this is why I can't do that. But we all know it, that's what's happening. And, and everyone blames it on their, on their electorate. One thing, uh, you know, in the contrast to fear is, is to tell you something about courage. Because the thing about courage is that courage is self-propagating. Courage begets courage. So the first person who stands up has to encounter the most amount of fear and discomfort. But once that one person stands up, it becomes immensely easier for the second person and the third and the fourth until it doesn't take any courage at all to stand up for something or to do something. And so what I would say is that the biggest antidote to fear is to ch when you see someone that is being fearful, is to choose to be the person that is courageous to show other people what courage looks like, to be the first person in the room to say, that's not right, or to be the person in the room, you know, when, when you're, there's this conversation, and the conversation starts to get taken over with fear mongering, with like Venezuela this and this and whatever, is to say, you know what, like the thing about fear is that it's, it's all designed to get you to run away from something and it's not a plan. Fear is not a plan. And, but courage is a plan. Courage is, this is what we're gonna do. This is where we're gonna go. This is what I'm going to stand up and this is the action that I'm going to take. Courage is about our future. And fear is just about anxiety. And if you're sick and tired of being an anxious nation, then you have to just be rejecting fear outright. We can't allow ourselves to be governed by fear anymore. We can't allow ourselves to be governed by that kind of rationale to say, I'm not gonna allow fear to control me anymore. I am going to stand up and do the courageous thing. The reception that both AOC and Bill Nye got at South by Southwest in Austin is a testament to exactly how much science is winning out against science deniers acting out in bad faith. And Bill Nye seems to have hit the nail on the head in terms of Republican opposition to progress, to embracing sweeping policy changes that Democrats, in many ways led by AOC, are championing, such as the Green New Deal and Medicare for All. Because what we hear from Republican politicians to Fox News is that if we ever dare to embrace any policy that isn't the status quo, if we ever dare to fix our disastrously unpopular systems that we will immediately devolve into a failed state like Venezuela. It's the same tired argument every single time, but it's not based on fact. Republicans have a vested interest in maintaining the system because their campaigns are funded by the interests under attack by these democratic proposals, like fossil fuel companies. In 2016, 19 of the top 20 recipients of oil and gas money in the Senate were Republicans. And of the top 20 House members accepting oil and gas money, every one was a Republican. The numbers don't lie. Republicans need this money for their re-election campaigns. And they know that saying, look, Big Oil owns my campaign, so I have to take care of them first and foremost, 
clearly won't work. But if they say instead that the damn leftists from San Francisco are trying to convince you that the climate is changing so they can establish a socialist state and take all your hard earned money, if they can scare voters into believing baseless ideas like Democrats want to take away cows and planes, they don't, then they don't have to tell the truth. They don't have to own up to the fact that they're just doing big oil's bidding, that they're ignoring what is essentially full consensus from scientists about climate change, and that the majority of this country supports the Green New Deal and that it does want to fix our healthcare system. And look, it is no secret that our system as it stands is not working, especially not for regular Americans. If you get sick, you're gonna get kicked really hard in the wallet. We are the only industrialized nation on the planet that has a for-profit healthcare system. When you prioritize profits over people, you have a system that is not always working in the best interest of those it serves. With regards to climate change, we have thousand year storms every year. We saw lower Manhattan underwater. California just got out of a five year drought only to have multiple simultaneous thousand acre fires. Tornadoes are wiping out the Midwest. Flooding is destroying the infrastructure of the Southeastern United States. Every year is the hottest year on record. This is not normal. It's costing us billions of dollars. And the only reason there's no movement is because a few hundred people in Congress want to keep their jobs. They're not protecting their electorate. Clearly, as people continue to die from extreme conditions, they're protecting themselves. That's it. And what AOC says about having courage is right. To his credit, a lot of the ideas that Bernie Sanders championed in 2016 are now the mainstream. Ideas that people laughed at, like a $15 minimum wage, which is now a reality for companies like Disney and Amazon, and in a slew of states. Or the rich paying their fair share of taxes, which the majority of this country supports, or tackling climate change, and the list goes on. And AOC is doing it now, as one of the most vocal proponents of all of these ideas that real Americans support, but never believed anyone would champion. I Ideas that are now endorsed by every major Democratic candidate and gaining popularity in every national poll. And it's the courage to speak out for those ideas that brings people to their feet. We should allow ourselves to run toward the prospect of what we can accomplish and not away from it. It was never fear that made America great, it was always progress.